Hello, this clip is being used for educational purposes. Government persecution of private citizens. I've always, since I was a little girl, like loved weddings. I started in 2006 out of my house. I remember when we opened the shop, when I got to like decorate it how I wanted and it was really awesome to discover that I could be a part of weddings. It's all centered around, we custom design your cake for you. It's not pick what's in this book. Um, every one of them is a work of art for Melissa. Her, her personality is such that I don't think that there was anybody that came in, ordered a cake, and didn't feel like Melissa was their friend afterward. <laughs> Melissa had set up the appointment, uh, it was via email, I believe. A gal and her mom came in, they sat down, and just like every other time, I said, okay, what's the wedding date? He asked, um, you know, what's the bride and, and Gruden's name, because that's always like one of our first questions, because it's not the top of our contract. She kind of giggled, said it's two brides. Um, I was actually very apologetic, I said, I'm really sorry. Um, I think I wasted your time. We don't do cakes for same-sex ceremonies. She looked at her mom. They kind of got a disgusted look on their face, got up and walked out. The state of Oregon says a Gresham bakery broke the law when it refused to bake a wedding cake for a couple because that couple is gay. We got a lot of phone calls and emails of people calling a, me and Aaron um, a hater. Lots of just really mean, mean-spirited phone calls and emails. We get people poke their head in the door at the top, yell profanities and run, you know. It's just, it blows my mind that uh, to simply say, I don't want to take part in this, gets that kind of a backlash. I love gay people. I've had gay friends, you know. I'm not, I don't hate them. It's not about that. With most of these bakers that I have spoken to, in fact, all of them, and the florist, and the photographers have, have welcomed anyone in as a customer. But when it comes to engaging in something as sacred as a marriage ceremony, that's different. Probably the biggest thing that hurt us the most is with our vendors. The damage was done when they were allowed to harass, bully, and pretty much force vendors to stop referring us. And now, I pretty much don't have really anybody that refers me anymore. Um, I've lost all of them. You know, doing the birthday cakes and the baby shower cakes and all that was fun and great, but it just, it just didn't pay the bills. The wedding cakes, that's what paid the bills. So we made the decision to close the door on September 1st. Aaron found a job, thank God. I remember the last day of like closing the shop and it was when we were leaving and it was the last time we were gonna lock that door. I just broke down. This is her dream. This is her, I'm, she put everything, her heart and soul into it, you know. Brad Avakian, the, the commissioner for Bully, um, has already come out saying that uh, he doesn't want to put businesses like mine under, but he wants to rehabilitate them. He kind of put it out there that we need to be rehabilitated. It's chilling to hear a public official say that his fellow citizens who disagree with him need to be rehabilitated. That sounds like the kind of thing one would hear from communist dictators like Leonid Brezhnev or Mao Zedong. The language of rehabilitation is terrifying, almost Orwellian language. This is a language we should never hear in a democratic republic. This is language we should never hear in the United States of America. If I did not hear it from the authorities themselves, I would assume that it was the product of some conspiracy theorist uh, imputing uh, evil motives to the state. I don't think the founders could have ever conceived the time when someone was told, you can't practice your trade. You can't engage in business if somehow the government 
doesn't like what you think and doesn't accept your particular faith point of view. That should give us something to think about. You can see this clip for free in its context at a two-hour broadcast at istandsunday.com. I also commend to you the movie OneGenerationAwayMovie.com, of which this clip is a part.